Okay, now let's solve this equation by factoring. And we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to whatever 3 and negative 2 multiply to, so that's negative 6, and two numbers that add up to negative 5. And those two numbers, of course, will be negative 6 and positive 1, because negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. So we can split up the negative 5x into negative 6x plus 1x, and bring down the negative 2, as well as the 3x squared, equals 0. So over here we can factor by grouping. 3x squared minus 6x, I can factor out a 3x. 3x squared divided by 3x is just x. Negative 6x divided by 3x is just negative 2. Then over here, 1x minus 2. The only thing that they have in common is really a 1. So 1x divided by 1, just x. Negative 2 divided by 1, just negative 2. By the way, it's always um, almost redundant to write 1x, but I just wanted to show that this 1 came from here. That's all. Now we have a repeating term, x minus 2, which we can only write, we only need, really need to write once. And we have 3x plus 1. So in factored, fo factored form, we have 3x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. So what I'll do now is that I'll make each of these equal to 0 individually to solve for x. So then over here, you can subtract 1 from both sides. And 3x is going to be equal to 0 minus 1, negative 1. And it can divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to negative 1 over 3. And over on this side, it can add 2 to both sides of the equation. And x is going to be equal to just 0 plus 2, 2. So x is equal to negative 1 over 3, or 2. And that is our answer.